Good evening, everybody. My name is Luke Senderling. I'll be your uh, chef for the evening. This is our uh, ad lib menu. So you'll go through and you'll pick through uh, ingredients such as leafy uh, greens, sauces, uh, spice, etc., uh, and move on to the next course. Whenever you guys are done, call me back in and I'll uh, make your menu based off of your picks. All right. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. So for appetizer, we're looking at a leafy green. Kale. Kale. You could do a rainbow chard. Um. <laughs> Let's go. Kale. Kale. What about a sauce? Mmm. That's tricky. Yeah, with kale. I thought we were going salad there. <laughs> Lemon butter aioli. <laughs> we could do aioli. 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 An aioli. That's better. Aioli. And a spice. Cardamom. Oh, that's no. what I was thinking. Actually. Really? Yeah. That's with great. kale and aioli? <laughs> what spice did you say? I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Cardamom. It's like, like in it's all like of the British Indian. baking shows. It's like in masalas. Oh, is it? I love masala. <laughs> Go for it. Right? Yeah. Main dish, we've got a starch. Good sweet potato. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah? Great. A protein. I don't want to go basic, like we like chicken or something. Yeah. Chorizo. Interesting. That's you interesting. Know, you have some like things. Chorizo, chorizo. You know things better than me. I, let's do chorizo. I'm in. And a vegetable. Onion. Is that a vegetable? Yeah. <laughs> of course I know. What style of onion? I do like onion. I would go onion over peppers. Sweet, sweet, sweet onion? That's Vidalia. sweet, sweet Vidalia. onion. Vidalia. Sweet Vidalia onion. Vidalia. Just sweet. Sweet onion. Sweet onion. All right. Time for dessert. We get to do a dairy. Can we do some I mean, it could be cheese? cheese. Yeah, it could be like cheese. Goat cheese? Uh, Is that weird? With no, goat cheese. Goat cheese. Goat cheese. Goat cheese. Goat cheese. Anything with cheese at the end of it is great. <laughs> Um, a fruit. Oh, lemon. lemon. We lemon. could go back to the lemon thing. Lemon. lemon. Do it. I'm Let's lemon. make lemons Starting. happen somewhere. And then herb. Rosemary. Go mint, rosemary, or basil. Basil blend. <laughs> basil. Basil. Lemon and basil. That sounds... And goat cheese. That and sounds really actually pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Just put them in a blender. Basil. Eat it. Basil. <laughs> For a dessert. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to attempt to take this chicken skin off the the bird, and I'm going to lay it out and render some of it, just drop it in the fryer and see if it crisps up, and then chop some kale, also deep fry that, so it makes some uh, kale chips, and then do a cardamom aioli. Yeah, you know, there's plenty of things you can do with the entire plant, but the greens are normally what you're, what you're trying to harvest, but you simply just get your hand, uh, pointer and thumb and put it together right there beyond the stalk. Take the stalk in the other hand, just kind of pull, and you get clean kale. I've been forced to learn how to blank since owning a home. I wouldn't say forced, but I've learned to do plumbing. Getting to do it yourself, like instead of hiring somebody, doing it for like $10, I don't know. Like replacing a fill valve in a toilet independently feels pretty good. Being so like, yeah, that's pretty yeah. easy. I did that. The idea there was to kind of do a pretentiously Southern classic uh, sweet potato casserole with marshmallows if it works, maple syrup, and then chorizo. Um, Knocks out all three ingredients. Sounds appealing. I don't know that it'll necessarily translate well to the plate, but we'll find out. I have plenty of tools in my you know, my house that I don't necessarily use every day, but I have. You know, my wife constantly asks me to consolidate and get rid of so I can, you know, free up some drawer space. But um, I can't because you know, I never know what I'm, what job I might be taking next, whether it be an event or you know, be asked to do a dinner party. And homeownership has taught me blank about my partner. Go on. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to go first. You're actually handy. Oh. Mm-hmm. I have learned that Carly's pretty handy, too. Definitely more than me. I can you maintain a lawnmower or hang shelves. There you go. And you can do plumbing. Perfect. I learned that we have a we perfectly have balanced relationship. Oh. <laughs> uh, this dish, we're going to take some goat cheese, whip it up, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, um, possibly some olive oil, maybe a little bit of um, honey, depending on the sweetness of the cheese. And then we're going to spread that on a crostini, prosciutto, um, lemon vinaigrette, and then uh, we're gonna take some basil, some really nice olive oil, puree that. Use the power of this motor to take all the chlorophyll that's out of that basil and create a nice, really vibrant green oil. It wasn't necessarily on the smoothest uh, path whenever I found kitchens. I was uh, 
at my brother's house one, one evening and his buddy approached me. They were about to make a move out to Colorado and start working on a, uh, a new restaurant concept out there. I said, do you want to do something besides you know, sleep on your brother's couch? I ended up falling in love. It gave uh, me the ability and opportunity to be self-sufficient, not have to rely or you know, be the bum that I was at that time especially. So that was really kind of cool. I ended up working out, I think. If money was no option, I would put blank in our house. I mean, does like a cleaning lady and yard person count? <laughs> <laughs> I'd put staff. You would staff, staff them. That's fair. I would like actually have a cook in my house if somehow I could mm. afford it. Like obviously that would never. Yeah, happen. but you said but you would also like cook along with them. Yeah, I'd have fun. They would be like cooking. Like, I don't want to not them. cook. Except yeah. other times I'd be like, dude, can you make me some eggs? <laughs> 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 Thank y'all for your patience and uh, your hospitality. In front of you guys is gonna be the first course. It's fried chicken skins, fried kale, celery leaves, and then a cardamom aioli. That's a good sounding crunch. <laughs> I still don't know what cardamom is, but I like it. Lots of crunches. Mine's gone. Mine's gone? Mine's gone. You can fly it because it's good. I never thought to fry kale. I've never fried chicken skin by itself. <laughs> Definitely never had hey, well, chicken that's... skin and kale together either. It's the most challenging one. It's pretty delicious. This is uh, gonna be our main course. It's gonna be sweet potatoes uh, in a casserole style. Very pretentiously southern. Marshmallows, of course. Crispy chorizo uh, soubis, which is going to be a onion puree. And uh, maple syrup and celery leaves as garnish. Onion puree. So that's I definitely this. did not expect to get sweet potato casserole. No. Like style. With marshmallows? Oh, Chorizo and sweet potatoes actually. It's a good combo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the celery on the last one was surprising how much it added here too. The marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten to the marshmallow side yet. It's like a campfire so. meets Thanksgiving. And the onion puree is like, I don't think I've ever had an onion puree. There's different crunches in the toasted parts of the marshmallows as well as the chorizo. I mean, the chorizo is a good call. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we have our dessert course. We are showcasing goat cheese. We have a little basil oil around the plate. What we did is we took a nice olive oil, pureed it, strained it, had a really nice vibrant green. The third ingredient, lemon. So I put lemon vinaigrette over the top and then the ingredient that knows no coarse, coarse celery leaves. Mm. Mm -hmm. That kind of dessert seems good savory. I'm with you too, it's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. I thought it'd be an ice cream of some sort. Pie or tart kind of deal. I think I was going that way too, yeah. Not like bread and prosciutto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down to that. So that good, all yeah. The, all the basil oil. We gave, we gave Luca a tough... Uh, challenge. A challenge and he rose to it. I feel like with the chorizo, it would have made a taco or something. Like yeah. something really simple in which you can just like top mm -hmm. everything up and mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. throw it together. First one, I have no clue. Yeah, I still, I still don't know what cardamom is. Card card is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to be honest, you know, at the beginning after reading, you know, cardamom and aioli, uh, and you know, those ingredients, I wasn't really sure I was gonna tie it all in together. But I think it's, good to be ambitious and, and just try to go you know, at stuff that you feel uh, strongly about. The end is really rewarding as far as uh, feel good, so I'd definitely do it again.